Here we are with Art. Art, what's your last name? Uh, uh, well, it's Arthur Trace. Arthur Trace. T R A C E. And that's www.arthurtrace.com. All right, show me what you got. All right, check it out. This is uh, what, what I call most sleight of hand magic and observation tests. I keep the camera close on the sevens. I've got the, the seven of diamonds, the uh, seven of clubs, the uh, seven of hearts, and the, uh, the seven of spades. So here's the test. Uh, if I flip them face down, that will leave me with one, two, three, and four face down sevens. Check this out. If I give them a spin, Watch this. One of the sevens, I don't know if you saw this at home, but one of the sevens actually turns in the uh, opposite direction. But if I do it again, giving it a spin, that will yield the, uh, the second seven to directly turn face up. All right, another spin, and that will produce the, uh, the uh, third seven face up. Wow. Uh, the last one's the quickest of them all, okay? I won't even spin at that time, as that happens to be a total of uh, four sevens all face up. Fantastic. Well, here's the interesting thing. You see the deck? Uh, I do. We'll do it this way. Let's use the uh, let's use the top uh, the top seven. Watch it closely, and you might see it transform completely into a queen. All right. First queen. Uh, let's use the seven of spades. Perhaps you could do that one. We'll have that one do the same. The uh, the last couple of uh, sevens, one more snap, two more queens. And the trick is pretty much done, but it's kind of like deja vu or just a dream, because you'll be able to see him go right there, right back where we all started with the, uh, the four sevens. Amazing, Any everyone. Questions?